Hello and welcome, right, yeah, I know I've given this a lot of thought, having done this on a couple of Let's Plays, I did it on Ravenport and I did it also on Pelennier, where again, the it was one of those, where the, there weren't enough, I wanted to do, I always would like to do sort of, I would say, a minimum of 80 animals, really, now this sort of does it, but the one thing I've found is when you do multiple enclosures, you got to feed each and every one. So you go to this one, to that one, to the other one, to the other. Now this takes this to limits that are beyond anything I've ever done before. You've got six, you've got eight, you've got ten, you've got twelve, you've got eighteen. You've got. I've got to be honest. It introduces an element that's really made worse by the game, but by the mechanic side of things. So it's. It also is a little bit, I was thinking that about, it centers around animals, but I've got to make it interesting. It's I am primarily a content creator, which means I've got to work with the canvas. Now, I once, a long time ago, did, I thought to myself, I, I never released it, I never sort of did it, but I did it, it was a German map, uh, I know this is a German map, yeah, and it's all it did was... I went as big as I possibly could with animals straight away and concentrated on those. Uh, Tater made everything around that. And then I recorded. And uh, when I played it back in editing, I thought, I've got to be honest, that's the most boring let's play that I could ever do because all I'm doing is rinsing and repeating exactly the same thing every single day. And if I was a somebody who was watching, I'd be like thinking, Oh my life. Now, Mr. Silly P did one of the, um, I think it's a farm that he really follows um, in real life. And again, it was, uh, I watched that, a massive fan of Mr. Silly P. And I watched that and I thought, this is like last episode. It's, uh, I always, I could listen to Mr. Silly P forever, I could really. But I was like thinking as for the episode, it was sort of like, repetitive it was a very there was yet more grass and there was yet more silage and there were yet more cows and there was more silage and more cutting of grass more gathering of silage in more clamps and and it was sort of like it, it centered around that all of the time now i know in real life that such farms exist but for me to present that as content i've got to try to make that a little bit of an interesting where there's a bit You've got to, I think, to make interesting content, it's got to sort of have quite a, quite a few elements where you're juggling and making it a little interesting. Now, the farm makes it quite interesting. Uh, obviously, all of these are sort of quite um, small, but we've also, it's new farm, we've only got 99,510. Um, not sure, I did see this in editing, I missed this. There are solar panels on there. So I'm presuming it's a generator of sorts, because I was thinking, oh, let's take an energy generator. I even said that last session, but didn't notice until I went into editing. I thought, oh, my God, mate, you've got solar panels on there. That's interesting. It could actually produce a bit of income. We've also got the trees, which it's about time we sort of drilled down a little bit and saw what we've got. I presume the production, so therefore should show... Right, oh, okay, so we actually biomass power plant, wood chips and straw, wheat straw and wood chips, okay, um, 1,500 produces 131 power, that doesn't seem a lot, 750 produces 131, that does seem an awful to know the straw you can produce a lot of it but we can't yeah we're going to get collared for costs for that dried air meadow hay pasture grass hay horse hay herb grass hay field grass hay clover hay clover grass hay alfalfa trockungs hal unterreiter all right not being an avid speaking person 100 plus 200 equals 200 Right, um, oh, dried air. Right, okay, I can even I can follow that. Dried air naught equals one hundred. So seven hundred. Right, okay. Grass semi dry. 
Astrograph semi dry. This is, yeah, I did sort of look at this a long time ago. It's it's very complicated. It is. So we've got animals. Yeah, so what? Chicken coop 128 in there. So what I'm thinking is, I thought I'd sort of try to do. So actually, the apple trees aren't showing as. Do they show as. It's owned by my farm. Should we let's try and water one? Yeah, yeah. I did sort of start to fiddle with the M282. You'll notice my money went down by a few little pennies. Um, but again, it is it costs, and we've got very limited. So I think we're going to have a well built. Um, if there was one, actually one done earlier. I thought it just looks a little bit like the overtime attack, but I thought, well, it looks a little bit different, sort of. Where are we going to stick? Let's have a look. If we go on to... Yeah, because I don't want taps everywhere, although if we're going to do lots of productions, well, then I wouldn't mind where we are. I suppose where we are, really, central, is probably about there, which is sort of right down there sort of really which isn't terribly bad so if we stick a tap uh, that's in the actual yeah, I think about that point there is that not an entrance no it's not it's just it goes in a little yeah there's there's the barbed wire there so it's so probably isn't a bad place so we might have something else in there actually thinking about it so are we have a well I think we will we'll stay in character There's a few mods here that I don't recognise because that's the Terra Life. So we've got all manner of things. And yeah, I think this time we are going to go for the water pack. Iomatana. And right, let's. Yeah. yeah. I've survived, as in I brought in the uh, Follow Me. And. Um, store deliveries. Yeah, both very important. Could sort of stick that. There is probably realistic as well. It's oh, he's done something horrible. Of course he has. Of course he has. We're not really going to worry about that there. I don't think. Right, so let's do a little bit of um, seeing of like how this actually goes. Um, okay, that's intriguing. Oh, of course, I've not got the mod on that tells me. I'm so, it's weird where you've got those ease of life mods that you have all of the time and you don't think anything of it and you get so used to seeing the little yellow thing about fill point and, and empty and all of that type of stuff when, yeah, actually, we probably really do need to. Uh, yeah, I'm just wanted to see all my life. Gordon Bennett, who thought this was a good idea to have a little messy with this hilly things like this? Tiny little tractors. And it, does that now appear as a. Uh... No? Okay, that's going to be interesting. Well, how does that work then? Yeah, because it doesn't show us. Yeah, it doesn't. There's no... How do we know? Yeah, I can see the yellow... Does it drop apples on the floor? Or... Yeah, that's interesting. I seem to be saying that rather a lot. Did that automatically water? Did I just, like take it over and it took it, it did as well, that's clever, it could have a stage point somewhere, obviously we're going to have to learn, there's going to be bits and bobs aren't there that uh, I'm going to learn as we go along, because obviously this is completely new, that's a 
think we did this one, but I'm not sure. Let's just try it anyway. Yeah, we did. Okay. Smashing. So then the rest, I think, are all of those inside the uh, inside there, which we really do need to learn. Where do we get in? Let's have a look, shall we? Right, so... No, it's still it's just an electric fence. Or is it? Is it? Let's have a look. Let's switch these on, because if we're going to have to do... Ah, it is as well. You were right. Good job, good job we didn't put things down there. On this side as well. Oh, no, it's, just, it's the same one. So that's a gate. Wow, okay. Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> that, that's obviously my stop saying when I'm incredulous is uh, that it's interesting. Wow, that is quite a narrow... Now I do see why we've got little masses because that is just a tad... I will spit out, but we're just going to water these first because... Uh, it seems that these are like one of the few businesses we've got. Oh, this is going to be, yeah, it's going to be tough to do that now. But we're going to reverse and see if it's going to take the water. Some of them don't take it and some of them do. Strange, because that's a normal tree. Yeah, uh, I think that's it. Right, it's okay, I think. More life. Seriously? Right, okay. This this is Yeah, this is silly. I can't even go with little tiny inclines, so this is the better of the two. Right, okay, yeah, so that's 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 need to dress him, doesn't it, really? Yeah, that's... Well, the sails may, in time, sort of sort something out. We don't know what's... what. So we've, we've done that. Do we try and do... Yeah, we haven't got animals in there at present. And that is someone else's field. So this is... Oh, that's why it never... Yeah, I was going to say. So this is the field, the meadow, where we would put our animals. Oh, wow. Got to be honest, yeah. This is going to be difficult. You, it's almost impossible for you to stick another animal enclosure in there due to the way that this is set. Because you couldn't level it. What I was going to say was I was going to stick the... Uh, my favourite enclosure down, but it's never going to work. Hmm. Unless we sort of swap purposes. And yeah, what what I was hinting at. Oh my god, this is not flat. Man. Yeah, what I was sort of hinting at was the fact that I've already done that, where I've got split enclosures, and this has split more than anything I've ever seen before. So I'm sort of wondering. What do we do? I was going to go for my absolute favourite, but that's, that is like quite awful. It's quite a small farm, but yeah, that we don't own. Do we? Okay, let's see how we own this. Yeah, I'm still talking, that's why it's still on 0.5. I'm not sort of going mad or anything. So... Is value 29,000, so we aren't going to make fortune by selling. Oh no, the three is that one there. No, no, it's not. We were looking at the this that's field plot four, field three, and then there's the uh, Kuwidi 18, which actually goes. No, no, it is exactly what you sort of see here. We would sell a couple of apple trees, but I'm not really going to lose any sleep over that. Just see, yeah, yeah, oh, this is it. So, 
yeah, I'm, I'm sort of trying. It may or may not work. It's yeah, you've got to do these things sometimes. You've got to go with your gut. So yeah, we are. That is <laughs> that is expensive in comparison. Forty one. We want flattish, and it's this is none of this is ever going to be flat. It's fifty seven. How come field five then, which is not much bigger than one, is as expensive as it is? One point one nine. That's not what I said. Look, it is bigger. It's broader than it looks. Right. Okay. Let's have a look then. So we've gained some. Field one is this one. It's sort of flat in places. Could we get away with this as an animal meadow? Not sure how the. Uh, it's bigger than you think, though. Yeah, the game punishes you really, though, for like. Okay, let's look at field two. That was the other option. Yeah, it's a. Uh, I know it, we sort of played an alpine farm and all the rest, but animals, because of game mechanics, as I say, do cause issues. And I, th I really do think it's just a bit far away, though. We've got to go over the road. It's actually worse than one, but is much cheaper. Okay, where would we get in? Where is the gate? We're bearing in mind these gates are not the most obvious looking gates. Oh, now that looks very much like an entrance. Aha. So that is a gate. It is. Okay, this is one thing we can do anyway. And that's to see how, yeah, because I've done this on English farms on how. Now, I'm probably, yeah, this would probably not surprise anybody. Obviously, the cost of these are, now there are some, wow, yeah, these are, no, no, that's actually mud in them. Expandable pastures mud. Cow shed, goats. Foot seven, five, eight, EP ready. Goats expandable pasture. Expandable pasture with feeding trough for ten. So does this mean it sort of works out how much you you do? Uh, so we may not have options that we normally have. Well, I can see some old friends. Ooh. I have not ticked everything, have I? I haven't. But these have been converted. So they were crippless, we couldn't afford the cows then. That's the whole point of doing this was... Okay, right, I'm going to stop the cameras. I'm going to pop out, pop back in. I probably, yeah, there were some things I didn't do. I thought I'd done animals. It may be that it's incompatible, so I'm going to see you shortly. Hello and welcome. Now, I always considered almost everything in life is a puzzle and farming simulator is no different. So sometimes you've got to think outside the box to make things work. Now, put a couple of blobs down so that I can see where things are. I did it on the shop as well, but actually it's seriously I go all the time anyway, so I didn't really need to do that one. But this one I did. So we are going to sell this. Yes. And we're going to buy some a little bit more powerful, but it's not going to be. Or do we? Do we wait in sales and have a single tractor at present? Hmm. Do we sacrifice the pair for trouble? You can Yeah, you you don't get these ones appear in sales very often. Is my point really? I've got to get used to the icons not being. Yeah, I'm bringing in a couple of uh, mods every single time, just to see if I can load. Yeah, my favourite mods. There's the arrows, which is good. 
by the time you've done that, this is 150 horsepower, but it's only slightly more powerful than the ones. This is a decent one. No, it's not that one. It's the medium one by Holes. It's a cracker. And there's also... This is very reasonable. It is 150 horsepower again. This is the better of the two. It's the four-wheel drive. I think they can both have the front, I think. But so it's a fairly decent, no front loader. This also likewise is, but it's got the Fiat problem of that. Then there's this one, I've not had it yet, sorry, the Xylon. And this, I think there's, a, there's two of them, aren't there? There's the Agristar, which is a cracker as well. This is not bad, but it's only 82 horsepower max. You can have a front loader. You can stick, you used to be able to stick the, the front three points on of Pepe's, used to be able to, I've not tried it in a while, then I think that's the medium, which this is sort of, I'm thinking, it's a little bit dearer than I wanted to pay, but I've got to be honest, I think of all options, it can have a front loader as well, just thinking about it, yeah, there's this, the field bus is good, but kind of a front three point link, the RX-170 can, and it's a 170, this though here is a bit of a dark horse. Yeah, this one I've used many times in situations like this. But you can go for the 210 for a marginal increase in price. Doesn't care that you can have like standards. Yeah, you have to go to another. But yeah, just go to standard trailer balls for no extra cost. You can go. I don't particularly like that for my standard rear hitch. It's more about the... Yeah, this is the one you have to play around with. Yeah, default attachment mode. Attach two and wait. Now then, you can either have front and back three-point link like that. Or you can have... Let me show you. Yeah, I've got a key. And front loader. You can't have both. It's quite... You Don't get me wrong. You could... Let's face it, you can switch between the two. You can have the mechanics stuck on, but you can't have yeah, the front rear hitch and, the fr yeah, you either go like that, front and back, or like that. Now, I think for us to begin with, if we're going to sort of do this desperate time score for desperate measures, then I think, do we sort of... We saw where we were, but we've now got a 210 horsepower tractor, 180 of course, with a front and a back three-point link, which I think will serve, serve us a little bit better on the train. Now, being as I'm not going to faffer, I would, I normally would not do this. I think we really need to, if I can find the massive, it's just going to be under one of these. Ah, we can do that. We have the technology. We can do this. It says uh, vehicles. No, no, we didn't want to. It's the animals. Yes, there we go. And that's it. It's, I, I wouldn't normally do this, but it is a game primarily. Fantastic. So, I think it's a shame. It's only 105 horsepower. So, we're going to go down to one tractor to begin with, which I really don't like doing. Right, so then let's run that up. I'm not going to show you this. I'm going to like literally start up because we've seen this already. So I'm going to restart the. And I, I, one thing I will say, the quick way is to go down here. I did figure this out last session when I and I, yes, I didn't reset the tractor. I really did literally grab it and we uh, went all the way. Actually, this way is not that. Yeah, it'll only take. Although it's a fairly a long way, it's not the fastest of tractors, but it's, it's a trade-off. It's 24 miles an hour. Though, actually, I think the Massey was the same, so it's not much worse. Now, this is obviously much more direct than the other one. So we're down to one tractor, but we've got a bit more cash to play around with. Now then, I'm hoping the mod that I've just ticked for um, cows is transferable into... See, that would be a perfect field, wouldn't it? 
what you want to do really. Palms in the wrong place. No, and I, I was sort of, yeah, deliberately had a little bit of a thought then, do I, do I jump farms? Of course we could do, it's true. Yeah, I mean, we know we're not going to get much for it. But that is a point. Do we do that? Do we sort of like shake this up straight away? <laughs> oh, I suppose we could do. It's, yeah, of the two things I do seriously like, this one's a lot flatter. Should we, as prospective buyers, should we have a bit of a look? But let's get out of the way of all these cars because we're, we're causing a bit of a pile up. This is not a farm, legitimately. With horses, too. We're literally with horses, too, as well. Ooh. I couldn't have said it better myself. Hmm. Oh, it's what this one. Hmm. And it's actually got, got cows with it as well. So this is a bit of a... Yeah, it is. This is a little bit different. Okay. Okay, sometimes, as I said, you, I concur totally with what I've just said. You've got to think outside the box. Now, the only thing we put up the top is a tap. <laughs> so I can't see it being that, but you never know. It's just, uh, let's just hop up to home. What is home? We're going to stick it on the market, I think. And we shifted. We are. Before we get, everyone gets attached to this and all of the rest of it. We're going to move. Fantastic. Right, so then now, if I was correct, okay, it's not, you're not, so, uh, okay, I hate this, when the main farm is always on day of release, isn't it, what placeables have we got on this, oh, you're not going to make me sell the whole shebang, are you, surely? Should do this. Yeah. It'd be an awful lot easier if we were just allowed to sell it. As in, like, the, the whole. Yeah, try to. <laughs> okay, okay. Floating things. May demand that I do. Fences are normally classed as part of the furniture. Right. Now they, that's, that's equipment. Let's just check with curbs and stuff like that. Think. Now the flat parts look like they're part of the furniture. Think we may. If not, we're going to have to do the things that I have had to do before, which is give yourself the cash back and you can get collared though then. Ah. Sometimes it can be stupid things like lamps, or the trees. Can you demolish the trees? I mean, is it, is, are these productions? They didn't seem to be, but... my life it is. What I want to know though is why did it not show up in our production menu when we had That 
yeah, I was going to sort of think, I know it may, might appear, but at sometimes, I mean, it, it, they're all assets. You are given a farm, and it's up to you if you sort of, like, sell that, as you would in real life, as you could in real life. Now, obviously, you would normally just sell. Now, we didn't, oh, we don't own that field anymore, so that shouldn't really bother us. I think it couldn't, it wouldn't let us demolish those. Yeah, it's not clicking on them, so it can still be silly little things like that. Yeah. Oh, my life. That's what I'm saying. You just have to sort of click on the right thing. My life. Well, <laughs> well it's worth a bit more than I thought. <laughs> just say that I think after this even if we sort of like don't find that the talk about well people do this for a li living where they actually sell the, the yeah the whole strip it down to spare parts you can see why they why they actually exist right okay okay I think what we're going to do is we'll we'll take what we've uh, yeah we do want to sell it for sixty eight thousand. What is that there? Ah, didn't see that, did I? So there's something over there. It's like no, it's not over there. Oh, it's that thing there. I think. No, it's more like over there. Let's just see. I guess it, that looks... We don't own this anymore, but it did show like a little... Like that. Is that it all along? Oh, my life. Seriously. This is what we were looking at, though. I think what we're going to do is we'll just own this because with a stripping off assets and selling the farm we've earned a fortune from it we are going to get collared for it though but it's going to be not a lot it's whatever it is yeah it's not like ah it could be the tap it is a real thing you should know this yeah as in have you have owned this on others why is it always the tap is the thing that I uh, it's usually lights or taps, yeah, taps do often catch me out. Yeah, I will have to move the equipment though if it is that. I don't because we're going to get collared for costs if we don't sell this. Oh, thank goodness for that. Right, so we've sold our original farm for a bit of a small fortune, I've got to be honest. But we are going to completely, we're not doing this to make money. We're doing this to, to literally go down. Uh, oh, so the animal. Oh, please tell me after all this, we can actually buy this. No, we could. We saw we could. We did see we could. So, right, let's pop down to our. And please tell me that I am correct. <laughs> the we is. Because it's the animal dealer that we do own animals and that I'm not. Oh, we do. Okay. My life. Uh, should we have done this? Is this allowed us to do something that we, we shouldn't have done? Uh, this is home. 30 out of 30. 15 out of 15. 20 out of 20. And 15 out of 15. And horse pasture, five out of five. Wow. 
Okay, well, we could still do what I was going to do and then move everybody in. So a new, because I, I don't want to be feeding everybody, not this little lot. Uh, so we now need to. So it's a very small sheep pasture. Very small. It is a bit small, actually. Very, very small. Did someone just beep us then? Or was it an animal making a noise? Alright, let's examine our farm. We are home. It's... Did that? We... Oh no, we did have 700,000, it's true. I do like this, this reminds me of a oh, squeaky door as well. So we have storage for equipment, looks like a... Wow, so you access your... So we've got some... Is this object storage, or is it just legitimately somewhere where we... Yeah, it's just a shed. Ooh, that's more like my kind of shed. Definitely. I'm liking this. Ooh. I would say this is. Yep, yeah, this is the repair point. It is. Uh, yeah, that's where we go through that. It looks like the garage type thing. Ah, so this is. Well, we, we bought it legitimately. We've not really sort of cheated or anything. Game yet, it's a sleep trigger. We've not cheated or anything, it's all totally legit. And yeah, 15 on my slow 35 animals. Well, it was a bit of a bargain, I've got to be honest. I don't know that the uh... so we also have five. Palominos. My mum would be very happy to see these. She loves the Palominos. Loved. Yeah, that's so she's she has passed away a few years ago now. But she would love to see those. Aha! So this is no silo. So did we have a silo on the last one though? I don't know that we did. We were missing some quite cool. Okay, we've got a electric charge point though which is very unusual so not the biggest amount of buildings as in like it's like is that a place where we can stick yes it is oh did we just oh okay so it's a ceiling open oh open object storage Got a bit of a strangeness, but yes, you can. It's an object storage, right? Okay, so that makes sense. It does. So we've got object storage. I've never used it yet. Uh, well, no, I've tried a couple of times. This will be the animal. Oh, it's not. No, it's uh, another repair point. A bit of storage up there. A little bit of storage there. A bit of sheds in here, but it's only one. So we're a bit short on storage. We are really. Could sort of clear a bit of land and make a builder shed here. Possibly. Just. I always like to sort of a, a brainstorm with yourselves, really. So. Let's have a look. What can we do with the place? We do need to buy. Is this. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Do we own where we're standing now? We do. So this bit of a pen here which is also very hilly is oh no it is really uh, yeah it's not yeah it's, it is a just literally a field a grass field but it's not so you'd have to you only could put the grass on it it's not you're not one that's flat enough for us to do what I was hoping to do Do we do something a bit different? This is 
interesting field. 62. Oh, it's much bigger than you think. Oh, you also own a lot of... Wow. That looked fairly flat from the road. Was my point. We could afford it now. Let's have a look. It is true. It, it had a really beautiful flat bit. At the top. When I say flat, I mean rel <laughs> relatively flat. Actually, that's flat there. At the bottom. Fairly flat, really. So this is looking quite good. It's got nothing in it. We could split the field. We don't have to... Alfalfa. Yeah, it's, it's been harvested, so... Uh, why is this not showing me? Yes. Right, okay. So with the trees, uh, obviously it's sort of primarily like we may do some wood chipping. Obviously it's a shame that we did the biomass, but we might be able to have one built. Is this the edge of the map though? Where is it? Uh, oh, it's beautiful. So this is our playground too. We may well have a look at it, but we have bought the field. We can now do what we like with it. And it is true, this is fairly flat. It's also got fence down here. I think it's got fence the other side as well. No, it's not. Okay, okay then. Right, let's sit down. Just let me move out of the way because I'm a terror for this. Hang on, this is still got alfalfa growing, and it? it is. This is where we see that the mod that I put in, <laughs> it doesn't work under this. And I just crash and burn. <laughs> we could afford to get bigger now, thanks to selling piecemeal at our old farm. Right, let's have a look. Oh, okay. Oh, it does as well. Wow. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, I think I'd like it the other way round. It's in the trees a little. Let's just pull it out. Let's see the left hand side. Say so that's about right. Is there a better way to do that orientation? Better to sort of waste less of the field, go up into the corner like that, and yeah, it's, I suppose we do. Just can't see that one there. It's there. I'd say that's about square. Yeah, I would say it is. No, that's about square. Weirdly strange at that angle or it, no it is it just matches the uh, orientation of the fields where is the oh it's in the forest okay well we're gonna have to Let's, yeah that's gonna go a little bit further let's just try and pull it this way a little so it's leftmost thing is on the edge of the grass Done. Let's go and have a look and see what's damage. Oh my life. Well, that when it's a level, yeah, this is never a level level. It's just uh, looks like that's the worst orientation. Let's just do a bit of softening. Let's get this right. And that does it. It's, that's about right.
Yeah, the only reason I'm doing this is I don't want lots of animals all over the place. So we're going to move our existing animals in. Which I know you'd sort of then think, oh yeah, but you've already got those. I know, but I don't want to be like feeding like 10 and 5 and 2 and 1. That's what I'm saying. The game's a game. Mechanics can beat you around the head severely. So I'm still trying to go small so that the game isn't ridiculously awful. We're down to one tractor. We sort of traded in some assets. Let's just have a look at that. Ooh, I think we're just... Yeah, we've got that. On there. Need to... Why are you not lifting? This is really straight. Right, okay, let's try and level it. We're going to have to do some... Right, level from... There. Should go under the. I don't understand why it wouldn't lift. It was charging me for it, but <sighs> well, totally ruined it now. Not that it's my fault. I can't, I can't take the blame for it. Right, let's put a tap down. Um, buildings container. Well, if you'd have told me I would have done this, I would have laughed because I, I would not have guessed. But it is true, right? We're not going to do the well this time. Oh, I've not ticked the tap. So I think we are doing the well. Okay. Let's do it on that corner there. That's probably where I would have done the H2 Studios, though. But it's. Yeah. Right. We are, although we are in time going to feed our animals ourselves, we are going to. Stick an 82 Studios down to begin with. Uh, we're going to stick it sort of. I usually stick it wherever we put well. But we could stick it on that corner there. Well, that's right next door to the well. Well, well. Mm. Right, again, are we still in V mode? Gotta be. It's right on the edge of that corner. Just check that's not all floaty leg. So we're going to use level because it doesn't seem to be wanting to uh, lift very much. If you do the lift tool, just sort of like, yeah, it's not working. Wow, okay, well, it's sort of as good as I can get, I think. It's weird, it's not liking me doing anything from there, so it's ruined it a bit. But we we'll might, to... I don't think we've got a seat, we've got a grass repair thing, so that would do. Let's remove those, and we need to be here. I think we need to press. Might not let us do it. Oh, I don't think I've got the mod ticked. The move animals mod. No, I don't think I have. Right, so what we are going to do though is. Let's try to think about the way that we would come in from this. Where is our. How do we get in from that? Is a gate. It's one of those strange gates. We don't own that field though. Let's have a look. How do we get in from our farm? I know, I know. We're going to move you, honestly, probably next session. So... Can we sell the, the, the sheep on? Can we then... It's not really the end of the world to have to come through there, but it is true. If we're completely revamping our farm, we could come through here and move the sheep and move all of the cows into there. So what we're going to do is we're going to get ready. Let's do the fences. So the gate, I want to be somewhere on this side. Fences. Well, yeah, big-ish. I don't want to be skimping. These are too small. 
yeah, they're not very realistic for a cow place. It needs to be. I do like this one. It's very rustic, a bit run down though. Do we really want to be going for that kind of? That's a bit small, isn't it? I think. Let's see what in comparison to that one. Yeah, it's about the same, I would say. Anything a little taller. Still want it to look like a cow place, though. Ooh. Hmm. I like the gate. I do like that. That's really nice. rather expensive though the actual individual pieces it has got to be a cost it could run away with us really Jansen farm so we need a, the gate would I don't know if the gate would match though that's only trouble okay let's stick that down Now let's go for that. Yeah, I won't let you do that. Might have to disguise this. Ooh. It's enjoying terribly well. This one here, I like the look of. Might have to put some sort of like. Okay, oh, it's pro proper barbed wire. So we're going to be going right to the. I should have sworn we did it it's to the edge of the forest. For the life of me, see the one on this side. It's further in the forest, than you think? I suppose if I were to just go for straightness, I think. Go to that pine tree. I think it's about there. Apologies for the silence. Yeah, I'm trying to get intense concentration. Right, let's go and have a look and hope it's not floating and flying. Okay, and then we'll put the things down. Oh, that wasn't as bad as I thought, actually. I thought that was going to be quite. Yeah, it's not perfect. It's not going to be, is it? I do like the fed, the actual gate, though. It's quite nice. So where? Why could we not see the pole? Here. Oh, are we, we're near it. It's just there. So I don't think that's going to be too bad. We were close to that one, so it's... Uh, loading zones here. Fantastic. They're going in down into the ground. So I think that's not far off. It's a very cow-like structure. So 
we do need to stick a manure point down. I would say probably near the... We could do it on the outside. But I'd like to use the field, so I don't suppose it would hurt. We may as well get everything ready. I think next session we'll get the animals moved in. I'm going to hopefully get the move animal mod where we're going to herd them ourselves, is what I'm thinking. So, silo extensions. I'm going to use, if it allows me to use the Bernie. Uh, Bernie was one of the contributors, so I can't see it being a no, really. Right, brilliant. It's got, it's a a self-contained slurry and it doesn't bleed out into any kind of storage it's been done through farmers from it very well so yeah so we're going to grab the food from there straw goes here got that for the water and are we going to distribute the milk with a milk distributor do we do that all now before cows come in and it looks horrible because you're going through the cow bodies or things like that so the distributor would be, yeah, the milk is here. So probably it's not a bad idea to go the milk tank. Yeah, so we need a dairy built. Got quite a few. Ah, that is a point. Yeah. Also, we need to check what economy we're on. Oh, I might not have ticked it. No, I only, <laughs> only tick mods I really definitely couldn't live without so we need to tick that so there's a few things we're going to take but we've moved farm it's it, i know it seems we're going to shift the animals next time i am going to bring all of the equipment down we have got one large field instead of the collection of yeah i'm, I'm happy we're also the one other good thing about this is you can see our equipment we're an awful lot closer to the shop which is always a good point, definitely. So, yeah, I hope you'll join me next session where we are going to, like, get cracking. So we're going to have to learn about alfalfa. It's 14 out of 27, so we're going to bring the mowers and all that type of stuff down. And obviously I might keep this down here and we might plant some more trees. I might actually put a painted line across here so Course Bay doesn't see this as part of the field. And we'll only cut that top half over there. So, yes, uh, we're also going to gain that pasture, which again we could do. Um, we'll see what we're going to do. We're not, yeah, we're not going to sort of really down to 318,774. So, yeah, I hope you'll join me next session. So, all that remains to be said is thank you very much for watching. I truly do hope you're going to stick with me on this journey. And I'm going to say goodbye for now.